Hey everybody, welcome to this Prague chat. I'm talking to Derek in uh, Poland. He's a second guitarist in Retrospective. I wonder what it's like. And they have a brand new album out, and it's called Introvert. I really want to close your eyes. I'm working on a full review of it, uh, actually, for my blog. It's an excellent album, and I'm really glad to have been uh, introduced to your band, because I'm not familiar with your band now that I've got this CD and I have your last album too, which I think is on my wall. Yeah, you can see it right there. Yes. Uh, it's progressive rock. I would say it's um, melodic uh, driven, melody driven. It's uh, you got a male singer and a female singer who are really amazing. I mean, the musicianship's very, very good in this band. Your production, excellent. The drums are really driving uh, The and, and great. I enjoyed the drums. The male singer has a very unique voice. Um, very distinct. Your keyboardist also singing uh, the the female vocals. Uh, when they sing together, it almost becomes one voice. They're so they're they're so tuned to each other. How are things in Poland for you and the band? We are preparing right now to because uh, in up April I think we will have a gig here in Poland in Sosnowiec. So uh, we need to practice the stuff from the new album. Uh, we didn't have much time before, so so now it, it's a good moment for that to focus on all songs or all arrangements from the, from the new album and and to prepare ourselves for present this album on on the stage. Do you all live nearby each other? Actually, all the members they live in, in Leszno, but yeah, only me. I'm actually I'm I come from Leszno, but but I live in Berlin right now. So I'm going to stay for one week here in Leszno and then I am I have to go back to Berlin. So we have not much time. Well, how many songs are you going to rehearse? Like how much, how long will your set be? Our set will will be, will be based on, on the last album. And I think we will have too much more songs from uh, from the album Latent Avidity. Four, four more tracks? Yeah, so four more tracks from Late and Avidity. Yeah, that's a lot of material to rehearse. Uh, what kind of influences do you have? Because I'm, when I'm listening to your albums, uh, I don't think I really hear any clear cut, like, oh, they're Tool fans or they're, they're Genesis fans or whatever. I'm just curious. Obviously, each member has their own influences and inspirations. Magic and, and me, uh, we like very much. We loved... Um, Stephen Wilson and Porcupine Tree. Uh, we we like also Catatonia and Opeth, uh, Pain of Salvation. Uh, what else? Uh, Pink Floyd, The Ocean. It's a band from Berlin. <laughs> uh, what else? We like also uh, classic music. Well, our vocalist, he's a big fan of Spell Jam. Uh, Jakob. Uh, Bata likes Dream Theater. Lucas, I don't know actually what is his inspiration. Very hard to to say. <laughs> but uh, but for example, Robert, our drummer, he liked very much Genesis and Phil Collins. Coldplay. Coldplay also. We try to find some some pieces in every genre. Uh, genre small even inspirations about melody me melodic lines or some technical stuff like like the sound of the guitars or or sometimes with much we spend a lot of time uh, just sitting behind the computer and hey oh this <laughs> uh uh these pedals are amazing they think <laughs> of oh, possibilities to, to to create a new sound and the sound surrounds us every day you can find some some inspiration kind of rhythm or or some melody but sometimes it's very hard also to to put it into into a song because it's very hard to introduce the idea to other bandmates and uh, in in very briefly and and to convince them that the idea is 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 the good one so but this is this when you play in a band 
there are few people and everyone has a different point of view and we have to all together find uh, the place and find some compromise uh, and, and find some solution that everyone <gasps> will feel comfortable what are we doing in, in, in this um, material, in this song or, or in this album or the idea is comfortable for everyone. I find when I listen through the whole album, it all it all ties together nicely. It all sits together really well. So you must be very proud. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. Is everyone very happy how it came out? Big thanks to uh, Przemek Novak. Uh, he is our sound engineer, and he he mixed and and do all that stuff. That it sounds very good. And yeah, are we happy? I think it's too early to say. <laughs> yeah, it sounds very nice. That for sure, we we proud of it. But about arrangements, we spent so much time doing this that we maybe we need some break <laughs> to not listen to this right. stuff. And maybe in the next few months, it would be much more easy to answer. Yeah, are you happy with with this arrangement? So for now, for me, it's very hard to to say. Right. It's hard to be objective. I understand. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> when you're doing uh, your live shows, do you, obviously you've toured before, haven't you? You've played live before. You also go outside of Poland? We had a tour with Antimatter. Uh, we were support and there were seven gigs, one in Netherlands, two in Germany and four in Poland. So yeah, it was very intense. Yeah, we had some chance to, to, to talk with, with the uh, uh, guys from Antimatter, but not much to to talk about their influences, uh, about how the process of, of, of creation is in Antimatter. But still, it was nice to spend time with them. And, and September this year, we, we're going to play a short tour with Red Sound from Canada. There would be a um, few gigs in Poland and Germany and Netherlands also. And maybe we will have one gig in France. We will have more information maybe in April or, or May. Yeah, and you've got, I think you have a website. I'll put down below the video here. So all your information will be there, uh, websites and uh, Bandcamp. I think you're on Bandcamp too, aren't you? Stuff yes, like yes. that. Yeah, that's a great site. I really love the album cover. I'd like to know a little about um, your album choice. And the artist I see is Dimitra. Yes, Dimitra. Yeah, she she did already. I think three three covers. Is it is the third cover. We are very happy and very glad that that we can cooperate with her. And I hope she thinks the same about us. <laughs> Yeah, we are very proud that we can have. Did she create the artwork uh, specifically for you, or did you choose from something she already had? She already had this graphic, uh, yeah. this art. We were thinking about about the cover, what should be on the cover. I think Robert, he contacted with, uh, with Dimitra, and she sent to us some, some, some pieces of art, and we choose that one because we all thought that this 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 art is much about what is on, on the album. I thought so too, like Intoxicated Generation, especially, which I did a React video too, Intoxicated Generation. Yeah. To me, that uh, that is a, a perfect uh, image, imagery kind of for that song. Yeah. So the band has been together since 2012, is that right? The original band? 16 years. 16 years. Oh, now. longer, okay. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, that's great. Um, I look forward to uh, digging back into your old, older albums as well. Has the sound of retrospective changed a lot since they formed? I mean, what kind of evolution has there been in the sound of the band? For me, as a person, let's say that is three years in the band, and I can compare the material because I had to learn also uh, the old stuff. I think the style has changed. And I think it's much more stronger. So you can find more uh, stuff from, let's say, metal genre than, than post-rock. Yeah, actually there are some, some, some parts from 
you can say that sounds like a post-rock stuff or comparing to the first album, I guess, it's maybe less, it sounds less like a prog stuff, in my opinion. So do you think that the the first album to now, you th it was more prog or less prog? I'm, I'm... More, more, more. Oh, it started I'm... off more prog? Yes, yeah. more prog. And now yeah. it's a, it's more uh, a, it's a little less it's much more heavier much more heavier yeah than yeah than previous few albums yeah just... yeah and it sounds and it sounds more not uh, generic but it, it, it's more electronic stuff oh yeah and yeah the ambient is different um, in the background so so one of the things I really enjoyed about this album is. There was a bit of a electronic vibe coming in there. Uh, I forget which song it was, but in a few songs, there's less focus on time signatures or fancy, uh, fancy riffs or anything. It's almost danceable, and, and that's kind of like uh, something that Prague you can't dance to most of it. You know, like but it's still rock music. Yeah, uh, we still try to go that way, even mm -hmm. though if there are some metal or uh some post rock uh things mm -hmm. there was little hints of pink floyd i was think that was one band that sort of I, I noticed the influence right away uh in in a couple songs a little bit of that pink floyd vibe and uh what is there anything else you want to to uh, cover before we uh finish is it's very hard it's my first interview <laughs> <laughs> I've before so yeah it was nice uh we want to thank you for uh, unboxing, for uh, presenting the Intoxicated Generation song and, and, and that we had a chance right now to say a bit about our band. It, it was a pleasure and I hope that in the future we will have a chance to meet each other again and, and to talk maybe about it, another new album. Yeah, absolutely. I'm I'm hoping that uh, this will be just the first of many uh, interviews. Yeah, I really appreciate your band. I hope you will you will enjoy listening to the other albums. Uh, yeah, retrospective. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm gonna dive into the older ones. All right. Well, thanks for your time, and uh, we'll talk to you again sometime in the near future. Thank you very much. Have a nice okay. evening. Okay. Oh, you too. Thank you. Bye bye now. Bye bye.